Hey guys, welcome to Homeschool On. My name is Rebecca. My name is Olivia. And today we are going to be showing you inside a new math program that we've been trying by Moving Beyond the Page. This is their six to eight, and this massive BIM that is taking up almost this entire frame is all of our manipulatives and hands-on stuff, and not even all of the books that we have for it. It's literature-based, it's unit study-based, it's very Montessori-based. Um, it is hands-on, it is just a really unique math curriculum. There's really nothing else like it. So this review is all about that. We're gonna show you a little bit of a lesson. Aliyah is gonna share some of her thoughts of this math program, and I'm gonna show it to you up close because that's really the best way to find out whether this is gonna be a good fit for you or not. So if you wanna see a whole bunch of other math curriculums, you can go check out my top 10 math comparison video. I'm gonna be adding a few more YouTube videos to that because I can't add them right directly to that one, unfortunately. But this is to go along with that. This is another comparison and one that you may wanna consider if you are looking for math curriculum. Now we have done almost an entire month to make sure that we have a really good idea of what this is all about. And Leah, what do you think of this math so far? I like this math because it has so much fun activities and crafts and sometimes we get to do some stuff on, online and there's so many fun stuff to do in this math. So included in the kit are these, this binder here, it's your interactive notebook. And this is what you add to throughout the year of the different projects that you do. So it comes with a little bit of instructions, a table of contents you can put, and then for each different kind of topic that they cover, you would put that into that week. So inside the first time, the first kind of unit that we have done here, we learned about patterns in the seasons. What is a pattern? Now I had both of my girls doing this at the same time. So there's some doubles here. Missing numbers and identifying grid patterns. This was interesting. So they worked a lot with the number grid in this. And then this is one of the optional pages. So they could choose to do different leveled of pages. There's easier levels and harder levels. Then they had to solve some word problems. Odd and even. We made our own odd and even little booklet. There's a couple different books that we made. Number pattern book, both of my girls, and odd and even numbers. So very, very hands-on projects that she's done so far in this first month. And then at the end, they spend, we end up spending close to a week on it, on our final project where we found pictures that would illustrate all the different things that we had learned and then she got to write about it and put this together and she did an oral presentation as well. So you can see that she really has mastered these concepts. This is not just doing it for the sake of, you know, a test in any way. There are also online quizzes that are included, you get access to with the program, which is really unique way of bringing in that review all throughout the year. So that's what we've done so far for the first. We're just right now going into the second, learning about arrays. She made her own array village here. Put that in here. We're gonna have a lot of examples of what she's done and what she's learned that she's gonna be able to look through and show and illustrate what she's learned with other people too, which is really unique. All right, so you'll see here that in the physical version, you have semester one of your parent manual and semester two. So I'm currently working in semester one, so I just keep these ones on my shelf, and I am not using my student sheets because I have the online version that I print from. So if I wanted to, all my student sheets are in here that my child could work through, but I'm using online that I printed off myself. So just for you to get an idea of how the lessons are laid out for you as the parent, this is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see that in, this, in a lesson, so this is what we're gonna learn, patterns and numbers, it's a three-day lesson. Before we begin, it tells us the questions, main questions and skills, the materials you're going to need, your introduction, and then you get started. So you'll see the activities are clearly explained, it tells you as a parent exactly what to do, and then it splits it up into days. 
So I have found these are actually pretty accurate. This is around where we stop and go, but you could continue if you wanted to. There are also online different components. So sometimes there's an online game she gets to play. At the end of every lesson, once she's finished, we close it up with their Learning Gates quiz. So there is an online quiz and that builds in review from all the previous lessons as well, which is a really unique aspect of this. It allows it to really build on itself and to make sure that you're getting that review built in because it is a very mastery based program. So this is kind of what the parent guide looks like. It gives you a very clear look at what you should be doing, different online games and activities that you'll do, how to teach the lesson, what you need. It's very well laid out. There's also vocabulary built into it. There's a unit review sheet at the beginning that you can use for your review when you're getting close to the end. That's really helpful to have on hand when they're doing their final project. So it's a really well done program, you guys. I love these, these parent manuals. I find them really easy to use. And I think the online would be even more adaptable because like I said, those links, you would be able to just click on and go where you wanna go. Now, the other thing that you have are your student books. And this is gonna give you a really good idea of where it's gonna take your child from the beginning to the end. Now, remember, throughout the year, it's more concept-based than anything else. So the different concepts that they're going to cover are number sense, addition, subtraction, fact power, geometry, place value, measurement, place value, the second part, telling time, money, data and graphing, and they end it with a skills review for unit 10. So you would do one unit per month. Now, let's take a look at just a quick flip through of some of the different activity pages. All right, so on top of all that, you have everything in your manipulatives kit and you have all your books. One of our books has disappeared into a child's room, but I'm gonna show you some of the other ones that are included that give you just that, that literature basis for the math, which I think is just incredibly, incredibly unique. So you're gonna pull out this book, read it together and refer to it throughout the unit lesson to help you have something to kind of visualize and put a story to it. On top of your books, you have hands-on, so you've got all sorts of different things for shapes. You have your dry erase markers, the number line. Now this is laminated, so you can actually use the dry erase markers on it and be moving along. You have number grids, and again, these are laminated so that you can use a dry erase marker. The kit also has all of the construction paper and miscellaneous papers that you're gonna need throughout. So literally means you don't have to get anything at the store. There's an abacus, dominoes. You have all of your different blocks that you're gonna be using for when we get to place value. There's flashcards, subtraction flashcards, game cards. It comes with crayons, geometric boards and your elastics, your clock. We're gonna be using this obviously for our measurement unit. There's paper plates, addition cards. We're gonna be using these cups. It comes with a dry erase board that you can use. It has your place value cards, even comes with masking tape, index cards, the popsicle sticks, ruler. We're gonna be using this stuff in unit three. I love how organized it is. Post-it notes, which we've already been using, our counting chips, our dice, a ruler, our number cards, 
So it really does have absolutely everything you could need. Now you can find a lot of this stuff, you know, at the store. However, the fact that it has even your cards that you're going to be using makes it so easy to just open and go. Okay, so now we are going to figure out as many different ways, we're gonna find a whole bunch of different ways that we can discover four plus three. Now you might not already know the answer to four plus three, but I'm gonna show you some different strategies you can use, okay? So, have you used a number line before? But I've, I've used it on even. So if I say four plus three, then you're gonna start at the zero and you're gonna to go to the four, because that's where we're starting, four. Now, plus three, I'm gonna make three jumps and see what number we get to. One jump, two jumps, three jumps. What is our answer? Seven. Seven. I can just see it from there. Yes, I know you can. Okay, so now you have a number line sheet to practice. Do you feel ready? Yep. Okay. So we are going to do adding on a number line. So you're going to need your pencil. So they did the first one for you. Five plus six, draw a line to the five. And then six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Circle the answer is 11 and then write it on the line. Your turn. Plus five. So go to the 10. All right, so let me give my little overview of what this is all about, my thoughts on it as a homeschool mom, and what I see as the key features of this and who it might work well for. So moving beyond the page, math is obviously incredibly hands-on, but what makes it different from some of the other hands-on math programs is that yes, it is scripted to you. Yes, it is teacher led, but because it has these worksheets built into it, it is something you can kind of sit down and do with your child read to them and then get them started on something and have a little bit more freedom and flexibility to walk off and help another child. This works really well for me with my family dynamics because I believe that hands-on is one of the best ways to teach. However, I just don't have enough of myself to go around. So I'm able to use this in a hands-on way. I'm able to blend multiple kids together with it, which works really well because it's not one specific age. It is adaptable for multiple ages. So I can do this with multiple kids together. And then I also can get them started. We can teach our little lesson. Here's your worksheets or your activity that you're going to work on. And I'm going to go help the next child over here. So it is very open and go. It is very directed to the parent and gives you all the tools that you need with the hands-on kit. It really does give you everything that you need to make this hands-on, but also adaptable. The people that it's going to work the best for are anybody who is looking for something that's more hands-on, anyone who's looking for something that's more mastery, anyone who's looking for something that's going to meet common core standards without being taught in a way that is confusing. I haven't found anything in this curriculum that seems like it is taught differently than maybe a different curriculum might be. I think what makes it common core is just that it is so incredibly in-depth that it is covering all the bases for anything you could possibly hope for. So if you are concerned about your child being on track with other kids their age, this is definitely going to cover you. They are gonna learn everything they should for that entire age range, which I think gives you as a parent a lot of peace, knowing that not only is my child doing grade four math, but they could you could use this math for a couple of years and know that they are gonna cover math for that six to eight age range, which I just think is really unique. And because you can blend those kids together, I think it's gonna work well for people who have larger families that want hands-on that maybe don't have the time to do individualized lessons to you know, however many kids that you have. If you can blend your kids together in something like this that is mastery-based, that's fun, that's engaging, I think that it is going to be a really fantastic program. The other thing I love about this is that it's literature based. I mean, I've seen hands-on math. I've never seen a hands-on math that also incorporates literature. I feel like the unit study approach where you're reading a book to illustrate it, you're talking about it, you're discussing it, you're building it, you're, you're drawing it, you're, you're making things with it. I mean, the kids get such 
a variety in this math program that there is absolutely no concern that any learning style would be left behind. This covers all the bases, all the learning styles, and is done in a really fun, engaging, and just come cuddle on my lap and let's do math together way. All my kids think this is a very intriguing math program. I know that moving beyond the page, they are coming up with more levels very, very quickly. So I'm pretty sure that the next level is ready to come out pretty, pretty soon. So you're gonna wanna stay up to date on their website. As far as what kind of style this would be, it's very blended, you guys. You've got unit study, you've got Montessori, you've got this hands-on approach. You could probably blend in Charlotte Mason in there somewhere. Definitely unschooling with the idea of being based on their interests. It is really a unique, unique, unique math that could work for multiple different, not just learning styles, but also homeschool styles, which again, makes it very unique. It makes it stand out from the crowd of math curriculum. So moving beyond the page is secular. Everything they offer on their site is secular. There's not gonna be anything in here that's going to combine math with God. If you are looking for something as a Christian family that is going to teach from a very biblical perspective, even to the, to the basics of your math curriculum, then you're probably not going to be happy with this because you're gonna be looking for something that like, what I said is more geared towards Christian homeschoolers. If, however, you're not concerned about bringing God into math and you feel like you can cover in other ways, then this is gonna be a good math for you. This also will be a really great math if you are a secular homeschool family and you don't want the other math curriculums that are really heavy in biblical worldview. In that case, this is gonna be a good math program for you as well because it's not gonna go into any of that. So it is a secular math curriculum Definitely something you need to keep in mind when you are considering if it's gonna be the right fit for you or not. All right, the last thing that we probably need to discuss when we're thinking about if this is gonna be a good fit for your family or not is the price. It is definitely on the more expensive range of curriculum. It's not something you're gonna do for $30. If you are on a budget, you absolutely are gonna to wanna to check out some of the other maths that I have considered because this is a little bit more pricey. Obviously, you're getting all of the literature components as well as you're getting this hands-on manipulatives kit. The price on the website is listed as $254.60 right now. So I don't know if that's going to change or not. That is $22 off of Lyft's price. It does have free shipping. And that includes everything, okay? So that is the full year math package, including your manipulatives, the books, as well as your teacher, parent manual, and your student worksheets. If you wanna do it cheaper, it is possible to do. A lot of the stuff in the manipulatives math kit, you can get on your own. You're gonna need paper clips, you're gonna need you know, index cards. And so if you are fine trying to find those things on your own, then you could probably end up with just doing the online of the actual parent manual and student worksheets and get the books from the library. So there are ways that you can adapt this to use this and make it more affordable for your family. You are able to get just the curriculum only. If you're just looking for this and you wanna build your own manipulatives kit and get your own books, you can get the printed version of it for $92 and you can get the online version of it where you can print off multiple copies for your children for $78.20. So you can make this much more affordable for your family. All right, so you know who this is going to work well for. Who would I not recommend this math to? I really don't think this is gonna be a good fit, like I said, if you are looking for something that is really Christ-centered inside the math curriculum. This is not gonna deliver for you because it's secular. I also don't think that this is gonna be a good math if you are absolutely unable to have that kind of time and attention for your child to teach them math. It is teacher intensive. It's not something you can just open and say to your child, go and do this. It is something you need to do with your child. You're gonna to need to sit down, you're going to need to actually teach the lesson. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. If you work, if you can't blend your children and they are just all totally different ages and stages and you have multiple kids, whatever your dynamics and situation, that's definitely something to keep in mind. Again, if you are dealing with you know, a budget restriction, then that's probably also gonna mean that this is not a good fit for you. In order to get the entire kit, it is a little bit pricey. So just all things that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind when you're considering this as your math alternative. Also keep in mind, they do bundle these together with their other curriculum. They have social studies, they have science, they have language arts, and it's all literature based and really, really high quality. So if you do want to consider doing the math alongside their complete curriculum packages, that is gonna be the most cost-effective way to do it. 
and still get everything that you want to get. What I wish would be different with this math curriculum, what I personally wish they had, was the online component. If you purchase the online curriculum, it gives you a time limit as to when you can use it. For me, the advantage of having an online curriculum is that that I'm gonna be able to reuse this for younger children. Because of this time limit, although I noticed that they did allow you to get a discount if you wanna extend your time or use it again down the road, it is limited in how soon you need to use it. Once you open up a unit online, you need to use that within a set amount of time. They give you like a, quite a few months to complete it so you have time. However, I personally would love to see, moving beyond the page, take that time restriction away and make it be something that you have as an online that's it, you get to use it for your family. Even I would prefer to pay a little bit more, have it be the same cost as the physical, but the benefit is that I get to use this for my family. If I'm only using it for two kids, but my other child's two or three years behind, I would love to see that on their site as something that's added. So there you have it, moving beyond the page, six to eight, math. I hope this video helped clarify and give you insight into the amazing things that are included with this program and whether or not it's going to be a good fit for your family. If you still have math questions or don't think this is the perfect one and are still on the prowl, then check out my comparison review of the top 10 math curriculum because that is over on YouTube as well. If you guys like this video and wanna see more, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. You can also click the little bell icon and get notified whenever I go live or post a new video. And otherwise, you guys, keep calm and homeschool on.